cooking apa? Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa will be uploading minimum four videos every week. You're going to find new videos from Cooking Apa on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. And for the past two and a half years, Apa has uploaded over 600 cooking videos for you to uh, just to help you giving you cooking ideas. Okay, um, today I would say um, uh, one good thing about being a cooking KOL is that um, I get to try different kinds of um, ingredients and seasonings and stuff. And uh, I'm very lucky recently that uh, I was given this uh, one of the more famous um, high grade fish sauce all the way from Vietnam. Okay, so how do you know it's, uh, it's of high grade? Basically, the moment you see the this word Puko, you know this from this. This, uh, this is actually the, the place. Uh, this place actually uh, produces the best, uh, the best uh, fish sauce in the whole uh, Vietnam. Okay, I'll probably talk about more on about fish sauce uh, that I learned recently or in other videos. But today, I just want to make use of this high grade, uh, higher grade um, fish sauce to make a fish sauce stir fry bihun. Okay, yulu mi fen, which is a kind of normal dish in Malaysia actually, but. Yeah, I have. I think I haven't really cooked it before. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna need three pieces of bihun here, um, and then uh, some very simple ingredient. This is uh, one bowl of chicken stock. I have a bit of char siu, one egg, about one tablespoon of um, this uh, onki fish sauce. So basically, they are, as you all know how you all, all you all should know how I actually like to fry my bihun. I will always like to blend it, then stir fry. Okay. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. So first of all, we are going to blend the bihun. Prepare one boiling pot of water. Put in a little bit of oil. So this oil is going to help the bihun um, avoid it from sticking later. Put in the bihun. And we're going to blend it for exactly 60 seconds. Starts counting now. Meanwhile, get ready a pot with a lid at the side. Hmm. My water doesn't seem to be boiling enough. Maybe I'll give it slightly longer time. I forgot after I added some oil just now, it actually cooled down the the temperature a little bit. So this round, I'm going to do it, blanch it for slightly longer than 60 seconds. Okay, now it's 60 seconds. It's actually almost there also. It won't take very long. Just make sure everything is softened. Alright, take it out. Next thing I do, I'm going to give two cuts here, two cuts here, just to ease the stir frying process later, and then close this with a lid and leave it at the side while we prepare other ingredients. Okay, so next thing we do, give a bit of oil here. Beat out the egg, okay? Uh, actually, I don't mind just putting a little bit of fish sauce into the egg. Just a little bit. To give it some base color. I mean, I'm sorry, base flavor. Oh, I forgot to own my hood.
Can I accept this? A bit difficult. <laughs> a bit too heavy. That's fine. Okay. Break the egg up. Then set it aside. You can hear my daughters coming home. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put some oil inside here, a little bit of oil. And this is actually the, uh, oh, mm, let me fry out the char siu a little bit, just to, to give it a bit more flavor. Okay, off the fire. Dish out the char siu, set it aside. Now we can actually put in the chicken stock. On the fire again. This is like one tablespoon of fish sauce. Okay. Oh, very fish sauce. <laughs> oh, this higher grade of fish sauce really different. Fish sauce is a very uh, it, it really gives your um, uh, gives your dish some umami flavor. Something very unique. All right. Once it is boiled, once it is boiling, we we don't really need too much uh, uh, seasoning on this. I'll probably. Keep just, just to give a bit of uh, sugar to balance it up, the saltiness. Fish sauce is rather salty, uh, but still I'll put in a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Okay. So you got this broth ready. We can now add in the bihun. So now this bihun is already becoming very fluffy because of the process I did just now, a while ago. Okay, now you can use medium high heat to stir fry it. So the thing about not to break your bihun is actually not to stir fry for too long. So we have our char siu and the egg. Oops. You know why I bought this non-stick? Because I want to learn how to flip. Uh, cooking is fun. Okay, <laughs> let's carry on. Stir fry. Yeah, it's almost ready. Using the uh, blanching just now, the bihun is already almost 90% cooked, so you don't really have to fry for too long right now. Okay, so uh, this is almost done. I'm just going to give it a bit of a uh, little bit of pepper and some uh, sesame oil. One or two drops. Oops. Okay, not too much. All right. Basically done.
You can add some veggie inside if you like, up to you. No right or wrong. There's no rules in Zapa Kitchen, okay? Alright, so basically the fish sauce bihun is done. Off the fire. And I'm going to dish it out. Alright, so here's my very simple uh, fish sauce stir fry bihun. Okay, so if you like my if you like this video, do share uh, my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.